So our second bout of the evening in the welterweight division, Jared Heon taking on Ryan Daniels. Jared Heon making his MMA debut tonight, as is Ryan Daniels. Heon wearing the black trunks with the white trim, Daniels with the gray and white trunks. Both fighters contend to stand in the opening seconds. Right leg thrown by Daniels, but Heon catches it and ultimately takes him to the ground. It looks like Daniels trying to work a submission from the ground, but is unable to sink anything in. Heon on top, Daniels on the bottom. Heon doing the best he can to keep Daniels there, and he's proving successful thus far, but it looks like Daniels trying to sink something in from the bottom, but has really been unable to find himself in the situation just yet to sink in anything too deadly. It looks like right now he is pulling Heon into his guard, making it unable for him to try to work any effective offense. Heon on top, content to rain fist onto the body into the side of his opponent's head. And as Daniels has been content to try to pull guard from the bottom, Heon has been using this opportunity to rain punches and elbows wherever Daniels is presenting available space, whether it be the side of his head, the body. Our second fight of the evening has already gone further along than our first bout of the evening where Phil Sargente had a first round TKO over Jimmy Tomlinson just 48 seconds into the round. A dominant opening frame, however, for Jared Heon of Team Link. Once again, you're watching AFO Uncensored. Peter Zimbor joined the cage side by Pete DiLorenzo. Jared Heon spending pretty much the entire first round on top of Ryan Daniels. Daniels just pulling guard, trying not to allow Heon to get too much effective offense going, but Heon's been scoring. It looks right here, he's trying to go for a twist and then move over to his back. I would imagine he's gonna open up with a little bit of ground and pound and then maybe go for a choke. But right now he's lurking his legs in there. Actually, he's getting out of mount. And Heon appears to be, or Daniels appears to be content to just covering up, not showing much intelligent defense. And our referee, Fred Mello, calls a halt to the action. So our second consecutive bout ends in a first round TKO as Jared Heon with a first round TKO over Ryan Daniels. It just got to the point where Daniels wasn't doing much else besides covering up, and I think Fred Mello had no choice but to stop it, Pete. To be honest with you, it kind of looks like Daniels might have quit or tapped. I, I'm not really sure. I'm waiting to hear the, uh, the announcement myself. And it's another first round TKO. Jared Heon, very successful, as he was dominant from the get-go over Ryan Daniels. We saw Ryan Daniels begin the frame throwing a kick, and as soon as Heon saw that kick, shot eventually got his opponent to the ground and spent the entire frame on top of him. <laughs> Daniels is doing his best to pull guard, try to prevent Heon from teeing off too much, but ultimately Daniels gives up his back and Heon just goes to town on Daniels as he is covering up, trying to avoid any further punishment. And our referee, Fred Mello, at a certain point, had seen enough when he saw nothing firing back in return from knuckle-ups. Ryan Daniels. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a time. 